First, a mail-in ballot is delivered to the wrong address here in the Bay Area. Good evening. I'm Jamison Yule. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. When the person who received that ballot told the post office about it, he says he was threatened with an arrest. I-Team investigator Adam Walser uncovers what went wrong and what you should do if you accidentally get someone else's ballot in the mail. The volume of election mail may be higher this year, but we're ready for it. The U.S. Postmaster General in this public service announcement assures voters the post office is up to the task of delivering tens of millions of ballots. But Pasco County voter David Gray is now questioning how well postal workers are trained in handling their own mistakes. Well, I received a ballot two days ago in the mail that was addressed to a different person. How the wrong ballot ended up in Gray's mailbox is anyone's guess. That other voter had a completely different name, had a different street number, a different street name, even lived in a different zip code more than six miles away from Gray's home. Because the ballot was slightly torn, Gray, who was also a Pasco County poll worker, called the supervisor of elections office. And they asked me to return the ballot to them so they could print a new one out that wasn't damaged and get it to the right voter. Gray also called the post office. And when he arrived home from work, a postal employee was waiting in his driveway. And the postal worker wanted the ballot back. Well, I told him that I'd already made arrangements to return the ballot to the supervisor of elections. Were they in a marked uh, postal no, unit? No, it was an unmarked SUV. Was the guy wearing a Postal Service uniform? Not a uniform. I think they had a badge on. He laughs. Then a short time later, Gray says he got a call from the Postal Service. And he informed me that if I didn't give it back, that I could be in legal jeopardy. Well, it was certainly a threat that was delivered over the phone. Yeah, that they could come back with, uh, with postal inspectors and deputies and arrest me. Over a ballot? Over a ballot that I had no part in receiving. It was just dropped in my mailbox. Post office coming to click the ballot. Gray arranged to return the ballot the next day. He shot video of that encounter. Can I get you to sign a receipt saying you received it? I'll sign it. I'm not really supposed to. All it says is return to USPS misdelivered ballot. Give me a copy of it. I'm not a supervisor or nothing. I'm just okay. Can I look at your name tag. Nope. I'm not allowed to see it. No. A U.S. Postal Service spokesperson declined an interview but said in a statement, we take customer concerns very seriously and have discussed the incident with our employees. In this instance, the mail piece in question was promptly retrieved and re-delivered to the correct address. We apologize for the error and any inconvenience it may have caused. Pasco County Supervisor of Elections Brian Corley says only a tiny percent of mail-in ballots are returned as undeliverable, and he's never known a ballot to be delivered to the wrong address. He says he made the Secretary of State aware of the incident and says the Postal Service's Inspector General is now investigating. Gray says he learned a hard lesson, trying to make sure someone else didn't lose their chance to vote. I did what I thought I was supposed to do, um, but now I understand that Probably I should have just given it to the post office right away. I'm I-Team Investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.